Hello, good evening. Um, I'm here this evening to lead us um, in a time, a quiet time of prayer and reflection. Um, I think there's a little bit of both in the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes and I hope you find this um, useful um, for you personally in terms of just having some quiet time with God. As we continue to um, adapt to our coronavirus altered world, however you find yourself this evening, let's put that behind us, let's put that to one side and let's remember that God is in control. No matter what we're going through, God can be trusted and he loves us. He is victorious. John 16 verse 33 I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble but take heart I have overcome the world. When things seem insurmountable when we are anxious or overwhelmed God will be victorious. He steadies us. Psalm 119 verse 165 Great peace have those who love your law and nothing can make them stumble. We pray for peace that only God can bring to steady us, to keep us on a straight path. He is trustworthy. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. May we all hold firm knowing God is in control. He empowers you. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Do not fear. He is holding each of us. He knows us by name. He knows us inside out. He will hold us close. Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let's take time to pause now. Let's let the truth of these verses wash over us. Let's pray that we can experience God's peace and confidence that he is never out of that we are never out of his sight John 16 verse 33 I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world you will have trouble but take heart I have overcome the world Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, 
and do not be afraid. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I pray that we all experience God's peace and the confidence that we are never out of his sight. Heavenly and Almighty Father, we come before you now. We pray thank you for the fellowship of Well Baptist Church, for our friends, for our family and for our church family, Lord. We pray for the blessings that you continue to pour upon us day by day. We thank you for the opportunities we have to spend time in your presence, to know that each day we are able to spend time with you. Lord, we thank you for keeping us safe and for protecting us. Lord, we think of those in our fellowship who need your healing this at this time. Lord, please walk closely with them and their families. For those physically unwell, for those emotionally unwell, for those with hearts and minds filled with anxieties and worries, Lord, let them lay it all at your feet. Bring healing and peace, Lord, we pray. For those who grieve, Lord, through loss of loved ones, we know their loved ones are now safe in your presence, Lord, but we miss them and we pray for those who continue to have sad hearts. Comfort them, bring them peace, Lord. Father, we thank you for the community around World Baptist Church. We pray that you continue to keep everyone safe and well, particularly those using our building and those in the vicinity of our building, Lord. And we pray that through each individual from World Baptist Church Fellowship and the ministries that we continue to try to try to run, Lord, from our church. We pray that we are able to build your kingdom in well. In such difficult times, Lord, guide us, encourage us, give us energy and wisdom, Lord, to know what decisions to make and to know what is best. Lord, we want people to turn to you. We want people to find you in their lives and to know you in their lives, Lord. Help us to find ways forward to do that. Lord, we pray for thanks for Pete and Louise for all they do in Bangladesh. But we pray this evening that they are able to travel safely back to the UK to start their home mission. Lord, we pray for, we just pray that they are, they are, they are well during this next couple of weeks, Lord. And that they are then able to share news of their work and their service to you and how they are building your kingdom lord and we pray that that inspires people here in the uk we pray that they are able to rest restore their energy renew themselves refresh themselves and we pray that they are able to spend valuable and precious time with their family while they're in the uk lord we pray for Andrew and Dishi. We pray for all that they do in Tirana. We pray for each member of the fellowship at Drita Ribotis. So 
some of us have in our minds images of them worshipping you, Lord, in their church. We thank you that they continue to, to come together on a Sunday and at other times during the week, Lord, to worship you and to praise you and that they continue to build your kingdom. We thank you for Endry and Dushi, Lord, and we pray that they are able to continue to have the energy and enthusiasm that they show in their work for you, Lord. We pray for Judy Cook and her team, Lord. We pray for the children. We pray that they, the staff and Judy and her team are able to continue to keep the children safe and well and happy, Lord. But we pray, thank you, that that work continues despite all happening in our world at the moment. Give Judy all that she needs, Lord. Give her rest, Lord, when she needs rest. Give her energy, give her enthusiasm and encourage her, Lord, as she is an encouragement and an inspiration to us, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for all that you, show, you give us. Father, this evening we lift these prayers to you. Lord, we know that you are in control. We remember that you are victorious. You steady us. You are trustworthy in our lives. You empower us and you are holding us. We pray that everyone is able to experience your peace and the confidence that we are never out of your sight. Lord, in your name. Amen. God bless. Speak soon. Bye.